Uh, cheers to y'all. But as always, we got to start with the motherfucking comments. So let's get to that. Uh, our social, uh, my social media is at Son of Man six six five for Twitter, at the Underground Broadcast for uh, the other two TikTok and Instagram. I don't know. As long as you subscribe to one of them, you're gonna see because it's the same shit. You know, we don't take time to do anything different for all of them. Uh, here we go, Joku. Before I read the comments, if you send me anything to those social medias, I will post it here. So here we go. Super Saiyan Joke, who sent me these. He's got some drinks there. We'll go over them in a little bit. But he sent me this on IG. And it says, I'm starting late, but I'm going to stay awake and bake at the underground broadcast to get this ad, all this ass. Son of man, leave me some of the, some of the. Live. Oh, yeah. Cheers, mother flowers. Hashtag THC, hashtag drinks, hashtag Mary Jane, hashtag marijuana, and hashtag smoke weed every day. Oh yeah, look at look at these drinks, this son of a bitch. He lives in a good state where all this shit is legal. Sweet heal, that one heals the soul, they say. Yut, maple cream soda, it's got five milligrams of THC. It's knock you on your ass. And kind of refresher infused with cannabis. That's a seltzer, motherfucker. Holy shit, that feels like cum going down your throat. I, I, that, that, I've heard, I've heard. I don't know, I don't drink those seltzers, I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, here he is, Alejandro Trumble! <laughs> son of a bitch. Chale, chale, chale. Hey, pasalo, pasalo, bato. <laughs> Cheers, you dumb son of a bitch. Mm. Uh, yeah, Joku, are you at a bar? What bar are you at? Or is that at work? You better not be at work drinking this, taking those shots and shit. Ah, uh, you look like a friend of mine I used to have, uh, Joku, some motherfucker. Uh, you look just like him. Ah, uh, yes, not the cum part. <laughs> Cheers, motherfuckers. All right, let's get with the comments. Oh, on the Kanye exposes his wife. This is like the the 60th video we've done with the same title um it says bianca chooses to dress like this yeah i mean she chose to marry the guy it's their lifestyle obviously kanye wanted kim to do this but kim is not all the way whore she's just a whore and she tries to keep it on the down low but i mean because she's famous they still capture it on film and on cameras this chick is a whore right up front. And Kanye likes that. There's nothing wrong with that. All right? If, if some people are into that. She's into that and they found each other and they're happy, motherfuckers. I don't know why people are giving them shit. Because these motherfuckers are happy and they're doing what they like. All right? She dresses like that. Yes, he tells her, this will look fine on your fucking ass. And yeah, she probably agrees and says, yeah, I would. Fuck yeah. We're going to get tons of clicks. We're going to be all over the news and shit. And she puts it on. She's happy with it. So is he. So yeah, I'm with you, Hexy West Live. Cheers! She does, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, I was drinking at work at the bar, to the bar, to at the, to the bar. Uh, oh, the cunt is here. Let me hit it for this asshole. You can feel it while smoking. You can feel it while drinking. You can feel it getting woke as fuck. So get your slot ready, because the cunt is here. Oh, Colin Larson says konnichiwa, bitches. Cheers, Colin. <laughs> Alejandro Trumble. I know our other friend said he was going to make a, a comment, uh, uh, intro for you one day, and he never did. Son of a bitch. If you show up tw two more times to our live, you asshole, I will make you a fucking uh, an intro just because I know you. Son of a bitch. I need to talk to you. So you better fucking, uh, you better fucking uh, represent and call me tomorrow, you dick. Anyways, uh, here we go. Smoke weed, watch WNBA. Oh, shit. That is actually something I've never done. And something tells me that smoking weed and then watching a WNBA game would be awesome, bro. <laughs> I, when my friends used to come over every New Year's, I used to get everyone drunk and fucking high. And then I would put on the room 
and they all hated it, but... But fucking after a while, they would get into it, and they'd fucking start laughing and shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I love The Room. I love The Room. I love fucking uh, Tommy Wiseau. He's a shit. I'll just say it like that. I, I fucking wish I could meet that guy. Uh, he would I, would. I would try to bring him on this podcast. I don't know if he would, you know, know what the fuck was going on, but I would. Cheers, y'all. Uh, Sakala. It's right here, motherfucker. He says, Sakala loco, which means take it out, motherfucker. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's a good shit, so I gotta use a one-hitter for the good shit. Besides, y'all don't want me too fucked up, because then I'm gonna be able to do the show and shit. Just saying. Let's keep reading the fucking comments. Oh, Anthony Wyndham, 9665. I think this guy's commented before, because that name sounds really, really uh, familiar. But he says, It would be nice to get a God of War movie instead of shitty Spider-Man spinoffs. Do you know what? They're making a God of War series and they're making a Ghost of Tsushima movie. This is Sony. Sony's doing this. The God of War series, unfortunately, is not going to be Kratos. It's going to be the basically the new games with the little boy because they got to be woke. Uh, as long as it's... Uh, I don't know, man. It would be cool, man. But I just, they got to pick the right motherfucker for Kratos, man. Because if they pick a black guy, I'm going to get pissed. He's got to be a Greek motherfucker. He got to look like Randy Orton and shit. Randy Orton would have been the perfect, actually nowadays, because he's a lot older, he would still be the perfect Kratos. Fucking spray paint that motherfucker pale white. Uh, ghost white. The fucking Randy Orton is perfect Kratos. I'm just saying, get him, make him have a beard. Because now he's going to be old and shit. I don't know, for the little boy, they can get Tom Holland. Tom Holland could be the little boy. I forget what his name was. He would just say, boy, read this, boy. I'm, I love that game, the first. I didn't play the second one because uh, I didn't buy a PS5. Fuck you, Sony. Uh, but yeah, that's fucking badass. God of War movie would have been cool. I, I would have loved to see Kratos, Kratos story brought to life. But no, we're getting a... a, 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 a the new one with him and his son, and it's going to be a series. I don't know what where it's going to be. I don't know where Sony's going to shop it to or sell it to, but it is going to be a series. And the Ghost of Tsushima, which is a game I fucking love on the PS4. Ghost of Tsushima is badass, motherfuckers. Um, that one is, uh, it's basically Assassin's Creed in Japan, but it's perfect. That game is fucking perfect. Um, that one's going to be a fucking movie that Sony's working on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ragnarok on PS4. Is it on PS4? Shit, I don't know. You know what What happened is that I fucking, I didn't buy it and I sat down and I watched a video of somebody do the whole playthrough. So I know what the movie is. Uh, yeah. I don't know. We'll see what they do, man. Because nowadays everything's a flip of a coin, man. They either do it justice or they fuck it up. You all have seen the monstrosities they've been giving us in the past. You know, some things are passable and we'll talk about some of the stuff I'm going to review tonight. But other stuff is just ass. Uh, whatever. Let's see, uh, Anthony Wyndham, uh, he did comment again, and he said, I just joined the channel, and you keep it real, my dude. I just give you my opinions, straight up, you know, son of man, and the way he thinks, and the way he thinks might be a little ortho unorthodox, might be a little unconventional, it might be a little too woke, even for the woke people, but God damn it, I will always spit the truth. You want to know why? Uh, uh, I'll tell you why. Because my mama told me you should always be an honest man. And I try to do the best I can. That's why they call me the son of man. Cheers. And by the way, thank you for joining. I did. This channel got a bunch of subscribers this week. I was not expecting it. Thanks, y'all. I hope you don't unsubscribe. Uh, I'll do my best. Uh, let's see who else is here. Oh, again. Anthony Wyndham said, keep doing what you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll keep doing me all day, every day. I'll give a fuck. Uh, that's how we do it in this channel. We just give you our opinions. Uh, you can give your opinions as long as you're not flooding the freaking chat. And you're not being a really, really dick. Uh, no, these guys are not going to block you. You wonder why these guys have wrenches is because these are some of the motherfuckers that showed up from the beginning. This channel's been running for three years, unfortunately, on year number four. It's changed completely, not by my choice. But anyways, uh, yeah. So this is technically year number one 
for the underground broadcast. We're not a podcast anymore. This channel is now a broadcast. Uh, so cheers. Uh, we'll do my best. And uh, we'll keep this channel alive. As long as people come in here and they drink and they smoke on a Friday night. So will I. And besides, I need this. Right? I'm sober all fucking week now. You know, god damn it. You gotta work and be a fucking drone on ant for a paycheck to survive. And then people at work are fucking assholes. I don't know why they're mad because they gotta pay child support to a fucking bitch. They fucking got pregnant. They're all mad. Motherfucker should have pulled out a camera in their face. It's not my fault. You gotta come in here, bring your bad attitude, and fuck someone else's day up. Fuck you. Anyways, enough of that. Enough of that. We're moving on. We're doing our own thing like we always do. And we persevere because that's all it is. You just gotta keep going moving forward. Good advice, Disney. Keep moving forward. Meet the Robinsons. It's a good movie. All right, let's keep going. Oh my God. It's our resident fucking Asian Robo Iger. Let me hit it for this asshole. Konnichiwa. And uh, this motherfucker says, what up, my brown skin friend? Oh, that's badass. I like that. Uh, you could say tan also or, or burnt. I like burnt, you know, crispy, not too crispy. I finally have a day off and I'm home alone. Watches this. Is that a what is that? I hate these emojis because I don't know what they are. It looks like a shit, but it's gray. Oh, it's a rock. I get it. He's home alone, and he's watching this stoned as fuck. Ah. These emojis need to get better. It's 2024. They need to make better pictures for these assholes. I don't know. That, I don't know what that was. It looks like clay. But I get it. Don't worry, Robo. I got it. Cheers to the woke pack. Oh, yeah. Hey, my son. Uh, let's see what this says. Sorry. Every time I open it, look at this, look at this ass. Every time I open it, it fucks up. Here, read more. There we go. Hey, my son plays Borderlands. I get what you mean when you say it hurts your eyes. It bothers mine too. Cheers, son. Keep up the good work. And hashtag... Live. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I had a roommate at one point who fucking uh he played borderlands and uh i couldn't get into it because like i said it fucking hurt my eyes and shit uh so i mean it's just not to my liking uh so i don't know the 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 cunt was shitting all over the fucking uh fucking trailer and shit i don't know nothing about borderlands i never played the game uh, i don't like how the game looks uh, but the, to me, I mean, I, I'll watch the movie. I don't know if it's going to be any good, but I'll watch it. I'm not going to pay for it. Of course not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the cunt says something like, He who should not be named racist remarks really was holding you back. <laughs> he did get... Man, sometimes, I mean, after the, after the show, I would be like, Dude, you came off pretty there. Like, you're like... Easy on the gay bashing, bro. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the bad one. <laughs> You're coming off as a fucking dickhead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, just, just, just like we're different cultures, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you know, you know, he's from. Well, we've talked about this. I don't get too much into it. Talk too much about him, but you know, he's still raised even more differently than me. I can tell you, our parents are really racist. If y'all consider what you guys consider racist, our parents, his his and mine's are really fucking racist just because of where the country they come from and shit. Um, but, you know, it's all funny. I mean, to me, I don't fucking, you know, I can say these things, you know, like I, like I would be at work and, and be saying like, and, you know, like, because, you know, I'd be the only one who speaks Spanish and they come up to me and they'd be like, hey, there's a Mexican up front. Can you come talk to him? I'd be like, God damn it. Why don't we, why didn't we finish building that wall? And then everybody would be like, <gasps> but then they, a few of them would giggle. And I'm like, yes, that's what I like. A brown person said it. You can laugh, motherfuckers. And then they started laughing and shit. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Calm down. I think the same thing you think sometimes. All right. There's nothing wrong. It's, it's fucking normal. 
Uh, you, I don't hate anybody. I just like people. Mostly motherfuckers with bad attitudes and fucking think they're better than everybody. Motherfucker, you're not better than anyone in the world. All right. At any given fucking Sunday, somebody will show you up, plain and simple. And it could be a fucking old man who shows you the fuck up. That's all I'm saying. Don't ever think you're better than somebody, no matter how much money or how much fucking fame or fortune or uh, uh, skills and qualities you have and degrees. Fuck you. At any given Sunday, a homeless person can show you the fuck up, motherfucker, and shut you the fuck up. I'll just put it like that. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers to Robo. I like Robo a lot. He's one of our Asian friends. My my only for Asian friend. <laughs> Basically, I I come from a town there ain't no Asians. What are you gonna do? And actually, you know what? The only little Asian girl that there I dated. I'll just put it you like that. Cheers. All right, let's see who's next. Oh, the cunt! Hey, cheers, the cunt! About to read his thing on the on the Daredevil board again. Punisher leaks. He says, Frank Castle is back, and the only thing he will be punishing is Kevin Feige's booty cheeks. LOL. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm excited about Daredevil. I really am. I'm trying not to fucking shit on it too much. I don't like, because, you know, the stuff I'm showing you guys, I'm going to show you some new stuff tonight, or talk about some new stuff tonight. But the stuff I show you guys is basically uh, pre production or post or whatever it's 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 before they add special effects before they fix it the lighting and everything in the, in the fucking programs i know that stuff because i fucking do it sometimes not on this but i do it on some of the other stuff i used to do and whatnot so i know what it takes to make it look different uh so i try not to shit on it too much and i am excited about it but at the same time Kevin Feige's track record the last couple of years has really fucking down, down, gone down the shithole. That's all I'm going to say. All right, so you, sometimes you just got to base it on what you've been feeding me. If you've been making nothing but ass and I've been eating it and being like, this is ass. What? what oh, this one's going to be better. I don't know, man. You've been giving me nothing but ass. So I don't know what to think. You know, that's all I'm saying. You know, the MCU is dead now. Nah, well, you know what? Nothing ever truly dies because these franchises will live forever. Uh, but as far as the MCU as it is in a, at a point in time where they're not making billion dollar franchises, yes. It is in that point in time where they're not making billions of dollars. And that's Marvel and Disney's own fault. Right? It is. Uh, their agendas are fucking stupid. Like, there's ways to put gays and lesbians in movie without doing it the way you're doing it, you idiots. That's all I'm saying. There are ways. There are ways. Just saying. Other movies have done it successfully. I don't know why these assholes have to be like, oh, like, oh, here you go. He's a lesbian. Why? I just, you know, let me get into it. We go over in this channel. All right, don't worry about it. Cheers to the cunt. Thank you for coming. Oh, my God. This fucking racist, misogynist son of a bitch. None other than no ma'am commented. Let me fucking hit it for this guy. No ma'am. National Organization of Men Against Amazonian Masterhood. All right. Cheers, no ma'am. Let me drink for you, you fucking racist. This doesn't surprise me. When the Spider-Man 4 is in trouble already. At this point, these studios have to just take a break. A literal five-year break. And then reboot everything from the start with new actors. It has gone sour. That pulling Wolverine... We'll get people back into theaters, but they won't be able to recreate that with any other of their own failed IPs. Cheers, son. Hashtag. Live. Uh, I totally agree. The cunt just said, mate, Deadpool is going to save it. Deadpool and Wolverine is the only movie Marvel. Disney movie. Because Sony's releasing a lot of ass. They already released Madam Web. They're going to release a lot more ass. I think Venom and uh, Craven the Hunter are going to release. That's going to fail too. Both of those. Uh, but the only movie Marvel Disney will release this year is Deadpool and Wolverine. That's it. And yes, it will make them a billion dollars again. But all the movies they're filming right now, they're going to lose money again. It's the same shit show over and over and over again. They literally need... What this guy said. A reboot. The same thing they just did to fucking DC. Where James Gunn says, that's it. And everything's going to end. And I'm starting from brand scratch new uh, next year. 
That's exactly what Marvel needs. But they actually need, I, I would say it as far as what this guy says, they need a five-year break. I think Star Wars would have worked out if they actually would have taken a break after the last fucking shitty movie with the Sky, the Return of Skywalker or whatever the fuck it's called. That movie was ass. After that, they should have taken a five-year break. And then after the five-year break, then do the Mandalorian and all the other stuff. Maybe it would have been more palatable because it's been a while. But you kept on doing it right afterwards. Shows and shit. And, and people are just like, if you're not going to give you quality, then, then, then you're going to get tired of it. You get exhausted of ass. You get tired of ass. I do. Sometimes. You know, if you get too much ass, you get tired of it. All right? You need to get something else sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but anyways. Yeah. It happens. Uh, I, I, I'm with you, no, ma'am. They really do need to take a break uh, or a reboot. Just restart new actors. Every new actor. I'm tired of Brie Larson and Mark Ruffalo running their fucking mouths in every interview. Like, God damn it. Like, I don't give a shit what you believe in. Shut the fuck up and just play the character. You idiots. You're making it bad for everyone. That's all I'm saying. Anyways, cheers, no, ma'am. Let's see who's next. Oh, some guy named Racer C45 on the Spider-Man 4 is in trouble. Is this supposed to be a joke video? No, it's supposed to be about talking about the Spider-Man 4 movie is in trouble already. You know, I read the title. I don't know if you saw the video. I don't know if there was any jokes in there. I mean, all I said was a fax that's happening. This is a channel where we talk about celebrities and comic book nerd shit. And I read your comments during the week. That's it. Oh, um, we drink and get high. And sometimes I'm drunk and I don't know. Also, I have a different point of view. And I'm a little unconventional. I might say something you not agree with or something you might think is funny. That's fine too. Everybody's taste is different. Thank you for commenting, Racer C45. Cheers. I'm going to load a new fucking one hitter for you. All right, let's see who's next here. Oh, okay, this was a, a thread that happened. But on the Godzilla vs. Kong Mothra leaks, Zach Brock, oh, that's a badass name. I'm not going to lie. Hey, he looks tough. Look at him. He's got a mean mug, and he's fucking got a beard. That's badass. He says, I'm pretty sure it was showing that Mothra laid eggs before she died. Maybe this is just her evolving hatching interesting theory but i gotta be a fucking nerd and a dick and say if she was laying eggs as she was dying oh which if i remember correctly she fucking died on top of godzilla um then where did the eggs go godzilla carried them around and go and put them back in the hollow earth because i think that's where this new mothra is going to be born is in the hollow earth uh from what i can tell in the trailers uh it's an interesting theory but i just think this is going to be uh, a brand new Mothra. It's just another cocoon was just literally somewhere else. You know, uh, yeah. Or maybe, maybe this guy means that the old, the, fir the first Mothra laid eggs around the world or the hollow earth. And, you know, I just think it's going to be a different one. It's still, they're going to call it Mothra, but I just think it's not the same one, obviously, because it died. It's not the same one from the last movie. So, yeah. Uh, we did have another dude comment on his on his and his name was Christopher Dorn Dornenberg Dornenberg is that German I don't know shit uh, it's definitely not American but anyways this guy says most likely she looks different because it's going to be a Mothra reborn just like in the Toho films she will evolve from hatching yeah yeah it is I don't think it's her reborn. It's just another moth. Another moth. Another cocoon and shit. And they just call it Mothra because whatever. They just call it Mothra. Because of well, what else are you going to call it? It's a moth and it's a god to them. Moth. Ra. God. That's what he's called Mothra. Um, yeah. Uh, I like when you motherfuckers comment on your comments. We don't get that a lot. Uh, but I like that Christopher Dornenberg. Uh... And Mr. Uh, Zach Brock, cheers to you motherfuckers, and thank you for fucking commenting on this channel. Cheers! They're giving us a view for fuck's sakes. Ah. Alright, let's see. 
Oh yeah, Super Saiyan Joku. He says, don't hate on the haters target, Miss 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 Westy. It's your bestie. Don't try to test me. It's gonna get messy. So just bless me. So just bless me. You don't want no problems. Oh yeah. Anyways, uh, she says, don't hate. It's not like she's spitting bars. She's spitting what like 10 year old would sound like and represent her dad to the fullest. I love it. And for yay, gorgeous wife, she makes me pee pee sneeze. Cheers, mother flowers. <laughs> Hashtag. Life. Ah, fucking Joku. Yeah, I mean, everybody's talking shit about this little girl saying that Kanye is corrupt. This little girl is literally looks up to her father and thinks her father's badass. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Fuck you. It would be shitty if she thought her, her dad was a horrible person and shit. But she doesn't. She obviously thinks her dad's some kind of hero. And she likes it. You know? And she likes that he does music. And she wants to do it too. So it's like, dude, like... You could say whatever you want about Kanye. He may be a little unorthodox. He may be a little crazy. He may be fucking really fucking rich. Richer than any of us will ever be. But I will tell you one thing. He's a good father. You know, he is in his children's lives. He goes to their goddamn basketball games. Yeah, he shows up in a fucking Escalade with the license plate 666. But he still goes to their goddamn fucking, uh, fucking uh, basketball games and shit. How many motherfuckers out there who are fact have children all over, all over town, fathered everywhere? Don't even fucking know their names and shit. Fuck you, Kanye's a good motherfucker for at least fucking being a dad to his to his kids and being such a good dad that his kids look up to him. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that grew up and they didn't look up to their parents. They'd be like, "Fuck this, Fuck the motherfucker! I'm gonna try to be better than this asshole." And I'm just saying, don't fucking be judging the Yeezy just because he's different than you. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. All right, cheers, Joku. Joku also on the Machine Gun Kelly gets a new tattoo and shit. It says, Machine Gun Kelly is a clown. If it's permanent and I still, he's still a clown. If it's just paint, hey, Machine Gun, give me Megan so I can make her the whore she truly can be. She needs to dump the loser. Cheers, my flowers. I will tell you one thing about Megan Fox. She doesn't need this guy to be a whore. He's done it by herself. And God bless her because you know what? Her face is amazing. Because everything else is fake. I mean, her boobs are fake for sure. She's she not got much of an ass, you know. But, you know, you bend them over, they all have an ass. Cheers. An ass is an ass, fellas. Aw, yeah. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. It's going to get too crazy here. Joku also says on the disrespect of Scotty, Scotty Pippen. Pippen be pimping, be pipping. Marcus, keep her face moisturized with that man lotion. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I, I don't know. It's just fucked up, bros. The whole situation's fucked up. All I'm saying is that uh, if you have kids and your son wants to date, your friend's ex-wife. I hope you fucking slap the shit out of him and tell him no. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Uh, but cheers to you, Super Saiyan Joku, for commenting on debaucheries. Because uh, that's basically what this whole channel is. It's a fucking walking debauchery. Mm. Alright. Ah! We have a new one! On the Godzilla Kong Mothra Leaks. It's this... Uh, it's you know what? I the 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 avatar got me curious enough that I I went and clicked on on his shit and I wanted to see who this guy was, not because of his comment, but because of of his avatar. It's like it's like a balloon or something with a face, and then it's like a little drawing of a kid with some red hair or something. Um, I went to his channel. This guy's a kid. And he has tons of videos. 
and he's a big Godzilla nerd. He has tons of videos. And for a kid, I gotta tell you, some of these videos are pretty damn good. I'm like, at the very least, this kid's really good at editing, chopping shit up, making videos. Um, and he's a big Godzilla nerd. He's a big fan. He loves Godzilla. Because that's all the videos he makes. I saw a lot of... I, I was just... I, I went... I got lost. I was super high. And I was like, this is a fucking kid. And I kept watching and watching shit. Uh, badass, uh, Mace DeMarco. Uh, fuck it. I'm gonna do this live. I wanted to do this live on the fucking show here. Uh, but I'm gonna fucking subscribe to your channel, dude. Uh, subscribe right there. Uh, underground broadcast. Just subscribe to you, motherfucker. Bendy and Mace DeMarco. And, uh, the drawing. I'm not gonna show it because he's a, he's a kid. I'm not gonna scroll up and show you guys. Uh, but it's his cat. He's it's a, he's got a cat and he's there and this fucking kid's uh this kid's badass uh this kid's badass I'd be proud to have this kid as my son I'll just tell you like that I <laughs> thank God I don't have any kids all right I can barely afford to feed my dog I don't need another little human fucking baby asking me for food every day and night fuck that um anyways let me read this guy's comment yeah cheers to M Mace de Marco Bendy and Mace de Narco I think Bendy is his fucking cat's name that's fucking badass. <laughs> But anyways, let me see what he, he put here. He put up, uh, why did you put spoilers in the title and the thumbnail? So because on the Godzilla uh, Mothra leaked video, uh, on the edge, I put spoiler alert. But then on the actual title of the video, at the end, I put open quotations and it says spoilers. Duh. You need asking why I did that. Because there are actual idiots out there. That will watch the video and then they, they didn't do it this time, but they've done it in the past. Where they'll complain and say, Why the fuck are you spoiling the movie? Some of us want to watch it without it. <sighs> it's in the title. All right, well, let me put it on the picture because obviously you're too fucking dumb. I mean, it even says leaked. I'm just saying, I've, I've had incidents like that where I'm just like the fucking idiots, you know? Uh, there's, there's dumb people out there. Uh, so, because of those dumb people, I have to do this. I have to put on the title of the actual thumbnail that says Mothra, it leaked. And then I put a thunder thumbnail that says spoiler alert. And then I have to write it in capital letters. Spoilers, duh, you idiots. Uh, because just people are dumb. Mace, DeMarco, you're going to meet a lot of dumb people as you grow up. That's life. Uh, but you're also going to meet a lot of people that are smarter than you. That's life. Cheers! And thank you for watching. I subscribe to you. I don't know if you're a subscriber. You're probably not. You don't give a fuck about this channel. And honestly, you're too young to be watching us. <laughs> but cheers, motherfucker. Oh my god. Let me make sure this is the last comment. It is. But it's none other than Houston, Texas only. Jose Trevino. Let me hit it for this asshole. Repite su nombre, por favor. Houston, Texas. Eh, soy americano, mexicano, señor. Para que usted se cuadre, ¿ok? Oh, Puto. Cheers, Jose Trevino, you fucking loco motherfucker. I just finished a beer for you, motherfucker. He says, on the Spider-Man is ruined video. Uh, excuse me for that. Sony added again, not knowing how to read the room and being dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not just Sony. At this point, it's Marvel. Like, Marvel was at the point they were sucking us so much that they agreed to make a partnership and share Spider-Man. And that's been the only good thing that two shitty studios have been able to produce something good because by themselves, they have not been able to feed us anything good. They have to work together to make one good franchise, and that's Spider-Man. And right now, it's in peril because these two idiots can agree what the next movie's gonna be. 
to me already, this sounds like this could be the end of it. And I hope Toby Mag uh, Tom Holland uh, realizes that uh, this is a shit show and maybe he should jump shit. And maybe he is. We're going to talk about that tonight for later for the spoilers. Of course, you know, that's going to come after uh, the weekly celebrity breakdown that we're going to have in just a few minutes. It should. Uh, but we are done with the comments. I want to thank each and every one of you who watched one of these videos and who commented. Uh, you're very much appreciated. And like I said, we read every motherfucking comment on this channel. It doesn't matter what you say. If you want to make fun of how I look and how I live, go right ahead. You ain't going to hurt my fucking feelings. All right. I, there's worse shit happening in my life right now that this ain't nothing. All right. Internet bullshit comments. It ain't nothing. So go ahead and put it, and I'll read your comments, and I'll give you the DJ horn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you send me anything to the social medias, I'll show it here, too. It doesn't have to be fucking paraphernalia, like the way Super Saiyan Joke was showing off that his state is better than everyone else's because everything that's illegal is legal in his state. Fuck you. Uh, but yes, it doesn't have to be paraphernalia. You, you see a horse, you take a picture, I'll put it on here. Whatever the fuck you send me, I'll put it on here. I don't give a fuck. Uh, that's how shitty our channel is. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> I thank each and every one of you for wa watching, and uh, we're done with the comments. I'll take one last hit for you. Hey, if you like this kind of content, how about giving this a like and a subscribe? And if you want to watch the full show, click on the link on the right or check the description.